okay? Because the only way you're gonna really get that muscle tone is you have to go a little heavier with that with that iron. All right, so let's go. We only got 20 minutes. Hold on. Set my timer. Come on, timer. You guys ready? All right, let's go. I'm sorry. Ready? We're gonna take it to the screen right here. It's a clean, hold it. Clean. Clean. Right here. Yep. Clean. It's like a setup for the press. That's a little rocking, right? Clean. Looking good, ladies. Nice. You got about 12 seconds. Keep going. All right. We're going to go to a clean and squat next. So the clean and squat is going to look like this. All right. Y'all ready? Let me start the timer. A clean to a squat. Starting session. Starting session. Ready? Let's go. That's it. And you can squat as low as you can. Listen to your body. It's a clean to squat, right? And I definitely could have taken my weights up, but I'm gonna stay right here, all right? Looking good, guys. All right. The next one is a squat. So you're gonna take the weight here.
full body workout. Get ready. For three. All right, let's go to work, y'all. And you may feel more balanced on one side than the other. This is my sciatica side. So I'm gonna take it real easy, not to wake anything up. Cause we were doing Tabata last night and it woke, <laughs> it woke up. Keep going, keep going. Looking good guys. All right, so we're gonna do alternating rows. Just gonna pull, like you're pulling up weeds, right? Flat back, butt is out, chest is up. Boom. Heavy is good. At least an eight or a 10. Pull, this is great for your back. Pulling in shoulders, scapula. Oh yeah, we'll work, work, work. What were you gonna say? Work, 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 work. You guys are amazing. That's it, that's it. Guess what? We can go to the wall or to the floor. We're gonna start with some really good push-ups. So listen to your body. You can do hands or knees. I think I'm gonna do knees. Ready? Keep those, keep it in, close to the body. Let's go, more push up. Keep those elbows in, for those tricep push ups. That's it. If the elbows are in, you can really go down deep. Or you can go to the wall. You go to the wall, elbows are in, pulling in nice and tight. All right, so if you're gonna stay low, have your weight, you're gonna take it to some renegade rows. Same thing, you're gonna pull, 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 pull. You guys ready? Let's work. Pull, 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 pull. pull. Great for your back. And control, right? That's it. Make sure those quads are down. That's it, Pat. She's making it work. <laughs> All right. Rest. All right, so we're going to do a snatch to a press, right? All right. Take it down, snatch it to a press. Switch, snatch to that press. That's it. And press. Take it down, switch, and press. You got this. And press. Come on, snatch, boom, press. That's it. Snatch, press. So snatch it up, it's yours. To that press. Rest. All right. So now we're going to take it to a clean to a press. Kind of like the same thing. So you got to clean, press, down. Clean, press, down. Let's go. Work. Clean, press, down. That's it. Clean, press, down. You can use your knees to get it up, right? Clean to a press. And down. Come on, guys. Taking advantage of this time. Nice strength training. You should be doing strength training at least three days a week. All right. Playing to a press to the other side. Y'all ready? Other arm. Let's go clean to a press. That's it. Clean, press. I'm just helping my shoulder. Because <laughs> I don't have the strength on this side. Not yet. Clean, press. That's it. Back down. Clean, press. You got this. 
clean. Press, keep going. Clean to a press. Come on. Looking good. With that, Rest. she's just gonna put it right there on top of the shoulder, and we're gonna go right into a fast squat. Okay, in six seconds. And we still got nine minutes to go. Let's go. Work. That's it. Keep that hand out. There you go. Nice. Looking good, guys. Perfect. That's it. That's that squat. And guess what? We're going to hit that other side in 10 seconds. If you can go down lower, by all means. Keep that chest up with the squat. Just that butt back. Nice. Rest. Hey, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> Welcome. You guys ready in four seconds? There she is. Love you. Hi, Queen. Let's go. Squat. That's it. Looking good, guys. Perfect. We're working this body out. We're getting it ready for Queen Nymph, right? She's going to bring us into full balance. Looking good, guys. We're halfway there. Very close. All right, so we're going to go into the unseen lunge. We're going to take that foot back, keep that weight right down the side. You're just going to lunge down and up in three seconds. Turn that leg. Work. Let's go, guys. We got this. Got the house music in the background, right? Can't lose. Looking good. Push, push. That's it. Woo -hoo. Nice. Switch sides. Static or uneven line. Just pulse it up and down. Woo, thank God for the 15 second rest, right? Let's go. Push. That's it. It's a lunge. Nice. Nice. Come on. You got this. This is a rest for you guys. Right? Keep those abs tight. Glutes are tucked in as well. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Grab your other leg. Now you're going to do uh, walking lunges. So you're just going to walk. You're going to walk. When you run out of room walking, just turn back around, right? All right, walking lunge. Walk. Walk. That's it. And stay low. That's it. So you're going to walk. 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 You got that. We're burning out these legs, right? <laughs> Perfect. Come on. Walk it out. Walk it out, right? All right, we got yes. one more round of the walking lunge. In eight seconds, take advantage of the rest. Anytime you need to grab water or whatever, grab it and come back in. Let's walk. Come on. Stay low. It's like you're creeping up on somebody. You don't want them to see you. So you're low. Keep that chest up. So stay low. Don't come up. You're in a lunging. Squat. When you go as far as you can, just bring it back around. Looking good, guys. Woo. All right. We're going to take it to a curtsy. Curtsy lunge to a squat. Curtsy lunge to a squat. Okay? Take that foot behind. Front. That's it. Ready? Let's go. Curtsy lunge. 
to the squat, curtsy lunge, squat. You got it. So we're working our upper, lower, keep the abs tight, keep all the things. How do I get my core strong? Doing stuff like this. <laughs> Looking good, guys. Woo! That's a burner. We're gonna go to the other side. We got two legs, right? We got two sides. And we still got four minutes. Yes, we do. Other side. Let's go. Curtsy lunge. That squat, right? Curtsy lunge. You guys got it. That's it. Take that foot behind. Drop that hip. Keep that chest up. And you have the weight for balance. Nice. Hey. That's it, guys. Woohoo! Grab that other weight. So we're gonna do a backwards tap lunge. We're gonna go back. We're gonna tap back. Same leg. Right, tap back lunge. Keep that chest up. Heavy weights are a good thing because you're not doing anything for holding for balance. Let's go. Your pace. This is too fast. Find your pace. Nice. I see you guys. You look amazing. Again, anytime you need that break, you take it. Looking good, guys. You got about six seconds. Reverse launch with that tap, right? Woo! All right. Other side. Other side. In 10 seconds. Take advantage of that breath. This way you can grab water, regroup. Ready? And first lunge and tap. That's it. Tap. If you can get it all the way down to the floor, good for you. If not, do what you can do, right? You showed up, so make it work. Make it work. That's it. Woo! All right, we got two minutes. You can do a lot of stuff in two minutes, right? And then we just next workout. <laughs> We're gonna alternate the tap, right, left, tap, right, left, tap, backward lunge, right? I don't get ready because I'm resting showing y'all. Let's go. 30 seconds. This is called a hit workout. Because guess what? We're hitting it hard. Very little break, but your body is getting a full workout, right? A full workout. Woo! We're almost there. We got one more after this. And then we're gonna catch our breath and bend out. So the last one is the deadlift for the forward. Then you're gonna take it to a press, right? Deadlift to that press. All right, put this forward. Take it to that toe. Come on, press. Deadlift. Come on, take it to that front toe. You got this. Perfect. Kind of like an uneven or staggered deadlift. You can really feel it. Remember, hand from that hip for the deadlift. All right. All right. Go to the other side, right? So you're going to take it down, up, back down, come up, and press. Hand from the hip, right? Let's go. Deadlift. Come up, press. Full body. Deadlift. Press. Deadlift. Come on. Press. You set it. Deadlift. That's it. Don't forget. Put that butt back. Hand from the hip. You got this. Looking good, guys. Almost there. Woo. All right, our last one. We're going to do kickbacks. 
you're going to be in that bent over position. You're going to take that arm back, right and left. So it's going to look like this. Take it straight back, right and left. Come on. You got this. Work. Right, left. Yep, that's it. Push. That's it. Back. It's a tricep. Triceps on the back of the arm. Some of y'all call them kicking legs, or I don't even know where all these terms come from. But this is what we're doing. Almost there. You all are gonna be mad at me. I missed one. <laughs> like what? Yeah. All right. So this is a squat. You got it. I'm gonna stop the timer. So this is a squat. So grab your mat. You be gonna need it for your uh for your knees. This is our last one. I promise you. You're gonna go to a kneeling squat to up, and this is good for balance and strength, right? So you're gonna need your mat. So you're gonna keep it right here. So you're gonna go down, down, and you're gonna come up, up. You're gonna go down, down. And what you wanna do is alternate the downs and the ups. Okay? Y'all ready? I promise you, this is the last exercise. Like no, Starting no. session. So let's take this. You're going down, down, halfway up. As soon as you come up, you're going back down. And try to switch on those downs and those ups if you can. That's it. Do your best. If you have knee issues, then just go here. Walk up, walk back. Walk up, walk back. Just do your best. We have two. Catch yeah. your breath. We're almost done. Woo! In 20 minutes, right? We killed it. Last one. Let's take it down to that mat. Come up halfway, and then you want right back down. That's it. And take it back. Now again, if that's too much, you can walk it back. Walk it up, walk it back, walk it up. I get it. Some things do to our bodies, we just cannot do them, but you can do something. Woo! All right, good job everybody, awesome. I'm gonna hand it over to the queen of the hour. Put those cute tights on, girl. Miss Queen now, take it away. <laughs> My partner in crime. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. That was always, is always amazing. I'm out of breath. Whew. I didn't even get the first 10 minutes, but those last 15, 20, I'm great. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is just amazing. Thank you so much, Coach. That's my partner in crime right there. My partner in fitness. All right. Started this right, y'all see, look, that's work. Mm -hmm. That thing said work. That's work right there, okay? <laughs> oh, great rising, everyone. Let's take some deep breaths in. Let's start there. <sighs> if you need to get some water, please do so. That was, mm, that was great. If you have your power water soluble and you haven't added it, to your body this this rising go ahead and put it in your water and your juice i have the uh pure nano 300 milligram thank you there you go 300 milligram um i've already taken my three drops this rising and held it 60 seconds under my tongue oh i'm feeling so good i'm feeling so good all right everybody let's take this some deep breaths how much time we have at 635. <sighs> right now I'm on my knees. So if you would like to be on your knees, if you would like to sit down on your bottom, you're sitting in a chair, we're gonna take breaths. 
And I just want to take rest right here on my knees. I feel comfortable here. My knees do not hurt. If they were in any pain whatsoever, I have my Power Pain Cream, 400 milligram that I use whenever I need it. Absolutely my number one. I don't have that. I usually carry my Dr. Reader's Rub roll on with me everywhere I go. It stays in my purse. And that's where it is right now. That's why you don't see it. <laughs> All right, taking in some good deep breaths. <sighs> Inviting in that amazing prana, that energy, that oxygen. Being mindful of the body right now. Where are you feeling it? Where are you feeling it in your body? Where are you feeling it in your body? Where are you feeling that energy? Where are you feeling that maybe that uh, stagnation? Where are you feeling that discomfort? Where are you feeling absolutely amazing? Where are you feeling anything? Breathe into that space. Whether it's pain or comfort, let's just breathe in to that space. In our inhale, let's go ahead and bring the oxygen all the way up to the crown. Bringing your energy, your oxygen all the way up to the top. Literally feel yourself rising, your energy ball to the top. Exhale and allow it to just calm down straight through the body. Our inhales and exhales will not be the same. Let's bring that oxygen back in and up. So you breathe in and exhale at your own pace. If you like to follow with your hands, you can. Just imagine that energy ball floating down towards the root chakra, which is right. We're gonna breathe up from that space right down at, at our growing area. We're gonna bring it all the way up through our reproductive organs, all the way up through our solar plexus, to our chest, to our throat, up to our eyes, up to the ground. And as you bring your arms all the way up, you can bring them straight up to the sky. And then exhale your arms and we are creating what? We're actually outlining it, just kind of feeling it. It's already there, but we're creating what it is that it feels like and what it is that we want it to do for us. We want our aura to protect us, bring us joy, bring us balance. We're just inhaling and exhaling and feel the energy and the power. Feel the energy shooting out through your arms, through your fingertips. And inhale. Keep creating. Keep imagining. Exhale. Visualize what it is that you want to see. See yourself relaxing on the nice sandy beach. Just creating that aura, feeling that energy that you're creating. You feel it? <sighs> Let's do some belly breaths. About five deep breaths into the stomach. Feel free to readjust yourself if you like to find a different position. Take those breaths in nice and deep into the belly. 
And as you breathe into the belly, feel yourself allowing the breath to come up towards the chest. Each breath gets a little bit higher. I'm in my third breath now. I'm feeling it climb up towards the chest. I'm feeling my chest begin to expand and contract. My diaphragm is expanding and contracting. All the way up. Holding the last breath nice and deep. And release that breath down. Squeezing the abdomen in. Releasing the shoulders. Releasing the arms. Releasing any tension or wrinkles in the forehead. We're just breathing this deep breath of life. It's wonderful. Okay, I'd like you to come to a seated, seating position on your bottom. You can bring your legs out in front of you. You're going to turn to the side. You can just bring your legs out. We're going to do some lengthening and opening in the legs and the hamstrings and everything since we did amazing squats. We worked on the glutes. We worked on our quadriceps, so our, all the way down to our calves. I mean, I work in shins. I know you guys work it all, right? Our abs are nice and worked everything is worked full body workout arms shoulders everything so let's bring our toes towards us so we're going to just flex your feet towards you pressing the heel out towards the wall feel that lengthening in the back of the leg if you need to bend your knees slightly you can do that it's okay if you need to place something under your knees uh, i don't know if you have any like uh, yoga blocks I put my weight right there. I'm not putting pressure on that weight, but I am allowing it to give me a slight bend right here. I'm just resting slightly on it. But I want that flex in the toes and then point your toes. If you're feeling any stiffness in there, grab your, your 400 milligram CBD topical and that will help to release the resistance. Point your toes like a ballerina, really point. Feel the calf muscle flex really strong. There you go. You want to release it and bring the toes back. So flex the toes back towards you again. We're sitting on our sitting bones. Let me come back to that. Our sitting bones. So what are our sitting bones? Our sitting bones are those two little bones that sit at the base of the, of the pelvis. They're right there at the pelvis. And you just want to lift. I have to lift a little out of the way to find them. But once you find them, the spine does become quite erect. You just want to sit up. All right, now let's point the toes again. And flex. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to, I'm turning for you. Now we're going to bring the left foot towards our body, bend the knee. Pull your chest forward. So you're going to wrap your hands around the chin of your leg, of your left leg, and pull your chest forward by pulling against your leg. Really lifting in the chest. Drop your shoulders away from your ears so you're not like this. Nice and tall, open, lengthening in the neck as if something is at the top of your head, pulling your head up towards the ceiling. Now I want you to take your left arm and I want you to extend it around the left knee. So the inside of the elbow is wrapped around the knee. If you can reach it that far. And then bring your right arm around and you're just gonna give it a hug. Give your knee a hug. And you're pulling your chest towards your knee. You should feel a nice opening in the lower back. Wonderful. And then release. So the way we're going to release is just open our arms up, come back up to a sitting position, bring the leg out. And let's do the right leg. So bring the right knee towards you. The foot is on the floor, right foot on the floor. And you're just going to bring your hands around 
front part of your shin. That's the first part. Pulling your chest towards you, shoulders are down. Something is at the top, just bringing you nice and tall. To feel that opening right here in the hip and the lower back. Now let's take the right arm, bring it towards the right knee. Give it a hug. Left arm comes around. Feel your back opening. Give your leg a hug. It did so good today. Now let's reach open, nice and controlled. Bring the right leg out. Let's bring our knees up and down. Okay, from here, we're going to just get, bring ourselves to a nice inhale. So bring yourself inhaling up towards the ceiling. And then you're going to reach towards your knees, shins, ankles, or feet. And you're just going to bring your arms down. So you're not going to arch your back. You're going to have a nice flat back. I'm going to show you guys. See, when we're doing our, our forward bends, you don't want to strain the back. So the, the best thing to do is to keep the back nice and flat. So finding those sitting bones helps the spine to stay erect. When we're bringing our arms up, we're nice and straight. You see that? Articulate, like really stretch, I mean, uh, reach the chest forward. See how those, all my arms are by my biceps? Getting a nice stretch in the shoulders and then I'm bringing my arms out. And just till right there where my back is still nice and straight. And I'm just straightening my arms and bringing them down where it's comfortable. So you should still feel a nice flex in the back of the leg. Now we're going to flex our toes towards us. Hello. <laughs> Bring those toes towards you. Feel the extra lengthening in the leg. Point your toes, inhale your arms up. Exhale your arms down, come down a little further so you can reach towards those knees, shins, ankle, or feet, whatever feels good to you. Nice flat back still. Chest is up, shoulders are down away from the ears. Your spine is in a neutral position, so your head is looking right at your ankles or your shins, wherever your, your vision is straight ahead. You don't want to look down too far, you don't want to look up, you want to just look straight ahead. Wonderful. Inhale, bring your arms up. And let's exhale and give ourselves just a little bit further. Wrapping those hands out around the feet if you can. Go to the knees, shins, ankle, or feet. Now you can start to kind of round the back if you're going out a little further. And then flex your toes towards you. Really feel that opening, not to a strain, but just to a gentle stretch. Release the toes and point them, come back up on your inhale. Your arms are nice and tall, your shoulders are down, biceps and ears. Exhale and bring your arms back down again. If you can go a little further, that's even greater. If not, that's amazing. You're doing the work. You are doing the work. Now let's flex the toes towards us. And if you need to, place your hands on top of your toes. So your hands will be on the, actually on the back of your toes and give your, give your feet a nice flex there. Help them out. Help them really get a nice stretch. Oh my goodness. Woo. Inhale. Point the toes, bring the arms up. One more time, exhale. See if you can go a little further. Now have a nice rounded back if you need to. Flex the toes towards you. Woo! Really open up the back of the leg. Wonderful. Inhale, point the toes, come back up, and exhale, bring your arms down. Now let's go ahead and pump the knees a couple of times. Ooh, yes. Nice. All right, bring your left leg in. And this time we're gonna cradle it like a baby if you can. 
can. If you can hold it in your hands, you're going to take your right foot, I mean your right hand, and place your left foot in it. You take your left hand and put it behind your knee. If you're here and you're resting the leg on top of your other leg, you can see that, that's fine. That's absolutely great. If you can feel that lengthening and opening in the hip, that's what you want. If you're bringing the leg up a little bit higher, you're gonna to start to feel it towards the glute. Your left cheek. You wanna just pull the leg towards you, sitting up nice and tall. You're on your sitting bones. And then from here, we're just gonna rock it. And if you can bring your leg up higher, that's amazing. It's not really necessary to bring it up too high in this move because what we're doing is hip opening. And right around here is a good spot to open the hips. If you're here, that's fine. You can keep it low. It could be on your leg and you're just rocking your leg side to side. Once you get to the back, when you get to the back here, I want you to tighten your glute muscle. A little right there. Otherwise, we're just rocking the leg side to side. Wonderful. Now let's stop that. We're gonna bring the knee right here in front of us and press it towards the chest. Knee up towards, towards the chest. Now we're gonna extend the leg up. So if you can, extend your leg up as high as you can. And you can bring your hands to the back of your um, calf or the ankle or the heel or the toes. You wanna to have a nice flat back, extend the arms out. You feel it all down through your hamstring. Now back to the bent knee, bring it to the chest. Back to rocking the baby. Feel that hip open a little bit more now. I do. I hope you do too. All right, now I'll extend that left leg out and let it rest. Wonderful. Let's do it again on the right side. So right leg comes in. You're just going to give it a nice hug. There you go, bring it to the chest and then take the left hand, right foot goes in left hand, right hand goes behind your left knee. I mean, your right hand goes behind your right. And you're just gonna rock the baby. Now let's be conscious of what the other leg is doing. So we don't want your leg that's extended to just kind of be hanging out, okay? You wanna keep that leg steady. You wanna flex those toes toward you and you're rocking only the leg that you're, that you're holding. The only thing that's moving is the leg that you're holding. When we get to the back, go ahead and give it a squeeze on the glute so that gives you just like a little bit more of an opening. And if you wanna go slower, you can. All right, now let's bring the knee back towards the chest. Shoulders away from your ears. And then you wanna extend the right leg up. Then you can place your hands behind your ankle, behind your calf, whatever feels good to you, behind your heel. And if this is too much for you, you can come down to here, wherever is a good space for you. You can also use props as if like, if you want to use, go up against the wall, you could be at the wall like this, putting the foot up on the wall for support, and then just bring the body towards the leg. And then bring your knee down, go ahead and give it a hug. And back to rocking the leg, opening the hip. Oh, it feels great. 
All right. And now extend the leg out and let's shake both legs out. Wonderful. Now we're gonna bring both knees in at the same time. So I want you to find the sitting bones. This is a balance move. So you're gonna be using your abdominals. Full body here. So bring your hands behind your legs and you're just gonna squeeze the, uh, your knees towards your chest. If you can't do this, you can just bring both of your feet down and squeeze your knees towards your chest. If you can bring those legs up, that's wonderful. I'm gonna find that balance. Pressing your chest forward. Hands are wrapped around the legs. And then you wanna extend your legs out. If you can, extend your legs out in front of you. If you can do one, do one at a time. Count to five and then switch. Flex the toes back when you get to the top. If you're doing this method, if your legs are just up, go ahead and flex them back towards you. Holding with the abs tight. Bring the knees down, I mean feet down, place them on your mat. Now let's bring the feet, soles of the feet together. Whew, that was nice. Wrap your hands around your toes or your ankles. Wonderful. And just pressing those knees down. So you just wanna allow the hips to open right now. You're just gonna let the knees fall open and use gravity right now. Ah. Release the resistance. So right now you're probably feeling a little tightness in an area somewhere in the pelvis maybe. Somewhere at the hip connector. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling it right there in my hips, in my pelvis. So we're gonna leave that, leave that nice feeling right where it is, right? So let's take our elbows. If you can, take your elbows and press them into your thigh. So I want you to bend your knees, press your elbows into your thigh. It might make you bend forward a little bit, that's okay. We wanna open the hips. So we're pressing our elbows, I'll turn to the side. Chest is high. Press my elbows into my thighs. If you can't do that, you can place your hands on your thighs, lean forward, and just allow the weight. You don't have to push. The weight of your hands and your arms is enough to open the hips. Press and open, open the hips. Give yourself a little challenge, press them open. Inhale into that space. Exhale. So where you feel your most resistance, I want you to imagine yourself breathing into that space of resistance. And as you breathe into it really deep, breathe in intentional breath, and then think about releasing that space right now, just letting go on the exhale. Wonderful, now release that and allow the, the legs to come up to a straddle position. And your legs can be as wide as you, can. I mean, they don't have to be as wide as mine. They could be less. They could be more. I don't know. Whatever's good for you. Be gentle. Be true. Be honest. Be loving to yourself. Find those sitting bones. Elongate the spine. So nice and tall in your spine. From here, we're going to inhale up. Turn to the left leg and extend over the left leg. Stand over the left leg, coming down to the knees, shins, ankle, or feet, whatever feels good to you. So our chest is turned toward the left leg. And we're just breathing in and out and extending ourselves a little further on our exhale. 
Inhale, reach your arms out, come back up, turn to your right. Exhale, bring yourself right over your right leg. And come down to your knees, shins, ankles, or feet, whatever feels good to you. Inhale, and every time you exhale, go a little deeper into your foot. Inhale, extend out. Use the strength of the abs to bring your arms up. And extend forward on your exhale, bring your hands down. Bring your hands down, arms are straight, back, back is nice and straight. Your toes are flexed towards you. You should be feeling this in your inner thighs. And if you would take your toes and turn them out. So like, instead of your feet collapsing in, bring your feet straight up or let them go back a little bit. Let's inhale ourselves back up. And then let's exhale a little bit further down into that, that lengthening, that opening. Move the body, adjust your body, feel what the body wants to do. Release the shoulders away from your ears. Breathing and releasing the body down further as, as it can. Mm. Flexing the toes towards you. Don't forget to flex the toes towards you. Don't let them collapse in towards the mat. Let them stay straight up. Toes are pointing towards you, but up towards the ceiling. The feet are flexed. That makes any sense. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Let's inhale, bring ourselves up. Slowly allow yourself to come back up. Bring your hands down your legs and back up your legs. Feeling the energy from your fingertips through your legs. Just run your fingers through your legs. Really open up that stagnated energy and those meridian lines that follow through our body. Our meridian lines that carry energy through our body. So if we take our fingertips and just run them up and down our legs, you're going to find those spots. You can feel it in your, you feel it in your leg really good. Through the back of the leg, all the way up through the calf, through the middle, all the way on the outside of the leg towards your heels and then bring it back up on the outside of the leg towards the feet. Bring it back around and then back out again. Releasing any acid that may be built up in the body. Hoping to get a little of that releasing. Posture release, just releasing some of that stagnation in our body. Feeling that energy in the legs. Okay, let's bring our legs together. Just gonna bump her knees up and down. Lovely. All right. Okay, bring yourself up to a tabletop position. Let me see what time we have. Oh, it's 7.04. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm all the way over time. So let's go ahead and go into this tabletop really quick. I want to bring you to a child pose. Toes together, big toes together, knees are spread apart. And they're just gonna sit the bottom back towards the heel. The arms are stretching out. Release your arms out in front of you. Really bring yourself down to your mat or floor, grass or sand. Let the forehead relax on your mat, on your floor. Allow the fingers to open. To spread the fingers apart and extend them out. Take some nice, deep, long breaths here and allow the body to just sink into this child pose. All right, now bring yourself forward. Your knees are still spread apart, just kind of pressing the heels down, uh, hips down. Toes are still together. It's a gentle press. Don't sink into your, your shoulders, you're pressing away. All right, bring yourself back to that child pose. Bring the knees together. Arms are out. Mm, really get a nice 
Right. Bring yourself back up. We are at our hero. This is where we shall end our session today. Thank you so much. I ran over time. I'm sorry I got so into that opening. I really wanted to really address that. I felt tightness. I've been doing a lot of walking this week. So with that, I've been using my Power Pain Cream 400. Um, and also, I've been taking at night my Delta 8. Um, a quarter of my Delta 8 gives me a great sleep, gives me an extremely amazing rest. Um, and before I get to that point of where I'm ready to relax, it's the, that whole creativity mode that I get into when I'm ready to paint or draw or do something creative with myself. So allow yourself to be gentle today, be gentle with yourself, be gentle with your thoughts about everything, okay? It's not that big a deal, you guys. You gotta take life a little easier. Sometimes we stress way, way, way too much. So enjoy your day today. Thank you so much. Be intentional with everything that you do, especially your breathing. Bring that, breath, bring that breath where you need it to be. Take five deep breaths five times today. We thank you so much for coming and joining. Please get with whoever invited you to this amazing Wednesday Fitness Jam with my wonderful uh, uh, partner in fitness, Coach Ernie, <sighs> Dr. Roz, everyone that's joined us today. Thank you so much, you guys. Have an amazing, amazing day. Namaste, Ashe. Peace and wellness. And Nam Yo Horenge Kyo. Nam Yo Horenge Kyo. Dr. Ben. <laughs>